Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel Digitivity. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to create this glossy metal text using GIMP. And I will be using GIMP version 2.10.28, which is the latest version at the time of this tutorial. So watch the whole tutorial to understand it properly. But before, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon, and select all to stay updated about upcoming tutorials. One more thing if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you want to watch more tutorials about GIMP, the link is available in the i button as well as in the description box below. Now without wasting time, let's start the tutorial. We are inside GIMP now. Let's create our new project by going to the file option from the top menu and clicking on new. You can use whatever size you want but if you want to follow along, use 600 by 400 pixels. Change your background color to black and set your foreground color to blue color. Now go to the toolbox and grab your blend tool, change the shape to radial from the tool options and click it around the middle of your canvas and drag towards one of the corners to make your gradient, then hit enter. Next, we need to give some texture to this canvas and to do that, click on this button to make a new layer. Make sure to fill with transparency and hit OK. I am using the paper pattern to create the texture to our canvas, so click on it. You can try other patterns if you want or you can skip this step if you don't want to give texture effect to your canvas. I want to give some texture to give a better look to the background. Now go to edit from the top menu and click on fill with pattern while selecting the new layer. Next, click here on mode above the layers panel and set the layers mode to soft light. This gives us a nice texture in our background. Now grab the text tool from the toolbox and make sure your foreground color is set to white. I am using Corbel Light font for this composition and using the size of 150 pixels, so just click somewhere in your canvas like this and type your text. Next, grab the alignment tool from the toolbox, click on the text, and click on these two buttons to center your text relative to the image. I'm going to go ahead and select the Move tool just to get rid of those boxes. Now right-click on your text layer in the Layers panel, and choose Alpha to Selection. This will create a selection around a border of our text, then make a new transparent layer by clicking on this button, and hit OK. Then go to Select from the top menu and click on Grow. It will open up a window, change this value to 10 and click OK. Make sure your foreground color is black and go to Edit from the top menu and click on Fill with the foreground color. Now, make another new layer, change your background color to a medium gray, and grab the blend tool from the toolbox again, change the shape back to linear and tool options, and click near the bottom of the selection, and drag straight up like this, hold down the control key while dragging, to make it perfectly straight. Then right click on your text layer from the layers panel and choose alpha to selection again, Go back to your new layer with the gradient and go to select from the top menu, and click on Grow. This time change the value to 2. Then press your delete key to erase that part of the gradient like this. Now, right click on the gradient layer and choose the alpha to selection so that the selection goes around the entire border of the gradient layer. Now make another new layer. Change your foreground color to white and your background color to a darker gray. Grab the gradient tool, keep the settings as it is. And this time click near the top of the selection and drag straight down while holding the control key like this. Then go to select from the top menu and click on shrink and leave it at the value of 1 and click OK. Now press the delete key to erase the rest of the selections. Then go to select and click on none and lower the opacity of the layer to 70, 
It will add just a slight edge to the metal surface. Then go to this black layer and duplicate it twice. Now click on this chain icon of the two bottom layers of black text. Now grab the move tool from the toolbox while one of the two layers is selected. Then go to tool options and change this mode to move the active layer. Click on the image and press your down arrow key on your keyboard to move the two layers down 10 or 12 pixels. It will make our image look like 3D text. Now uncheck these two chain links and make sure the bottom layer of the three layers is selected. Then go to the filters from the top menu, then blur, and click on Gaussian blur, it will open up a window. And set the blur radius around 10 and click OK. Next, again move the layer down by clicking the down arrow key on the keyboard 3 to 5 times, and lower the opacity slightly. It will give a nice little drop shadow to our text. Now select the text layer and move it up above the three black layers by clicking on this up arrow. Then click on the image and move the text down by clicking the down arrow on the keyboard three times. It will look like the text is embedded in the metal. Now we need to give some shiny glossy look to the metal area. To do that, right click on this gradient layer, which is above the text layer and choose alpha to selection. Then select the new layer and grab the ellipse select tool from the toolbox. Change the selection mode to subtract from the current selection. Then click and drag like this to make an ellipse shape and place the shape on the selected area around half. Then grab the gradient tool from the toolbox, make sure your foreground color is still white. Set gradient pattern to the foreground to transparent. Then click near the bottom of the selected area, and drag up straight while holding the control key on the keyboard and hit enter. Then go to select from the top menu and click on none. This was it for today's tutorial. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. If you found this video helpful in any way whatsoever, be sure to subscribe and turn on all notifications to my channel, and if you have any questions about this video, please let me know in the comment section below. See you in the next tutorial, take care.